Cookies on a date. Hello YouTube, here's Cookie with Mr. Outdoor Chef. On today's episode, we're gonna be doing chicken on the Blackstone. All right, here we are. So we got our chicken, we got a Kirkland's chicken breast. We got some Best Foods Light Mayo. We got our Himalayan pink salt. We got some Kirkland minced garlic. We got Mexican style blend cheese. And we also got some mozzarella cheese. And of course, you can't forget the avocado oil. So this is what I like to do to prep my chicken. Cut open our containers here. Reach in, grab your chicken breast. I like to throw them in this little pan here, the little aluminum foil pan. This helps make things a little bit easier. Reach in here and grab these things. Can you just a second cut open all these other ones here? Now when you put your mayonnaise on, you like to smother it all up. That's what helps lock the juices in the chicken. Keeps it nice and nice and juicy. Doesn't dry it out or anything. So again, reach in, grab this last couple things of chicken here. All right. Then we take our mayonnaise. Take your gloves off. Don't want to contaminate your uh, your containers there. Take your, your mayonnaise. All right, after we get our chicken in our container there, take your mayonnaise and you smother it all over your chicken. Get a nice and good thick even layer across your chicken. Then you take your little brush and kind of brush it on. There's no rhyme or reason here, just kind of take and smother it all on all your chicken. Again, this is going to help lock in the juices, make a nice juicy chicken. Nobody likes dry chicken. After you get that all smothered on there, all right, we're going to take our, our seasoning, our Blackstone chicken and herb seasoning, and we're going to very, very gingerly just pour it all on your chicken. Now, again, guys, when I cook, I don't have a special, specific recipe. I just go with what I feel is best. Then you take your pink Himalayan salt. Kind of pour a little bit in your hand. Just drizzle it on there like so. And then we're gonna take and place it on the Blackstone. All right, now we got our Blackstone set. I've got everything, all burners on, nice 36 inch Blackstone. All burners are on low. Then you take your stick of butter what you want to do is just take and spread this around your Blackstone just to help take that uh, cooking temperature with your oils. Take, take your butter like so, then take just a little bit of oil, spread it around, then you take your piece of chicken. Set it down. Again, I got all four burners going. They're all set on low. Then what we're gonna do is place all our pieces of chicken on here. Missed a little spot here with the mayonnaise, so we'll go back here and add a little bit of mayonnaise to our last piece here. Just like so. Grab our garlic and herb seasoning again. Sprinkle on there. Let's put this a little bit more on. Never hurts to have too much seasoning. All right, then we'll check back on the, with the chicken here in about 10 minutes. All right, so after we're back, after about 10 minutes, we want to go ahead and give this chicken the flip. Oh, look how nice golden brown that is. Now, the key to cooking chicken is you got to keep turning after you get that nice little sear in it. And again, this mayonnaise is going to help lock in all that moisture. So you flip it over like that, add just a little bit more olive oil. Add your seasoning to the other side. Now we'll check back in about 10 more minutes, see how they're doing. 
All right, so it's been about 10 minutes now. You already flipped them once. I went ahead and added some more mayo and some garlic, the minced garlic that we had. It's going to give another flip. After we flip them this time, we're going to check the temperature of them. And we want to cook these things to 165. Make sure you get a nice, good, even temperature across all, all the pieces here. So now we got the got them flipped. We're going to take our thermometer here. And we're going to check them. Now one, 124 on that one there. 135, so that one there is almost done. And 145. All right, so let me go just a few more minutes. We'll check on them again, and we'll see how they are. All right, we're back now. Let's go ahead and give these guys another flip. They're looking beautiful, nice golden brown. Put them one more time. Let them cook for about another 10, maybe 15 minutes, and we'll be ready to pull them off. All right, we're back. We're going to do another little check on our chicken here. And again, the temperature we're looking for is 165. So we're going to give a quick little check. I got my little expert grilled thermometer here. Got about 158. So we're getting real, real, real close. Matter of fact, we're going to go ahead and cut off our, our burner to the right side here. We're going to shift these over to a cool zone. Check our other pieces here. Yeah, about 136, 137 there. This one here, about 140, 150. So I'm going to slide this one over as well. Give this guy a shot. Yeah, we're going to kick him over to the side as well. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our, and get, put some cheese, and we're going to smother it all over the top of these. Now again, I've got some mozzarella cheese, and we've got our Mexican cheese. So first, we're going to take our Mexican style cheese. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of smother each chicken here, each piece, like so. What we're going to do is we're going to do three of the mozzarella, the excuse me, the American and Mexican style cheese, and then two of them. My wife's got to be picky. Unfortunately, she loves mozzarella, so she gets what she wants. And we take and put the mozzarella cheese here. Since this other one here is almost done, we'll go ahead and add it to the last one as well. So now, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to close the lid, help kind of melt that cheese, and we'll check back in just a few minutes. All right, and we're back. Let's give one last temperature check. We're getting ready to pull these uh, the chicken off the Blackstone here. And yep, perfect. All right, so let's get these pulled things pulled off here. Grab the glove. Of course, you don't want to burn your hand. And I like to put my chicken in these nice little tin foil containers. Love these tin foil containers. They make things so much easier. Go ahead and pull them off. Set them in here. If we want to stack them up and get our cheese mixed up. There we are. All right, and look at this nice, beautiful chicken. Ah, oh, does not just look great. Please, if you like this video, like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell and look for my future videos.